<laughs> so good to see you again. We met for the first Jurassic World in Berlin. Long time ago. Oh. I was a young man. Five years yeah. ago. Oh, wow. So it didn't happen. Yeah. 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 Good to see you again. It's been a while. Good it's a roller coaster ride. So, um, how stressful was it for you, or how easy, making this giant movie? Um, it was stressful in moments. It was it was fun in moments. It, it was uh, emotional at times. It was a really massive endeavor. Uh, obviously, it happened during a pandemic. We didn't expect that when we went go went in, but um, the process of it uh, changed uh, drastically and it, it allowed us to work together and write together and, and build this film and this story in a way that we wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. So in some ways, uh, you know, it was, it was a blessing in a ways that it happened because uh, it allowed us all to be closer. What was the hardest day of shooting or the hardest scene to shoot? Um, there was a day when it, there was a period of time where we had a team in Malta who was running motorcycles through the streets uh, and filming high-speed vehicle chases, and then we were shooting other parts of the Malta sequence on sound stages in England. And so I was directing on the sound stage, and then I would uh, get an iPad with a take from something that just happened in Malta, and I would give a note down there. So I was directing pretty much two movies at the same time. That was hard. <laughs> okay. And did you remember also some, some funny moments during the shooting? Uh, you know, it was there was a just this layer of that was over the whole thing of kind of seriousness because we were we were really trying to to get something done. Um, but I remember something Chris Pratt said that that made me laugh very hard. Uh, he was wearing uh, the Beta puppet uh, on his back, uh, and he said, uh, "This is a very expensive puppet wearing a very expensive puppet." And I thought that was funny. <laughs> Okay. Um, what happened to all those props things? Because I every time wonder, because they are created with so much love, mm. but then after the movie is done, so where is it? Is there some kind of storehouse, warehouse where you keep them? Uh, it's the saddest thing about films is you build these amazing sets, and you know we had huge models that we built for this, and then the animatronic dinosaurs, everything, and, and they don't keep. Uh, they, they all uh, fall apart, so unless we were to vacuum seal it in a box, which I argued that we should do, uh, which is very expensive, and you know, put it in a museum, then they, then they fall apart. So it's, it's very, uh, it's kind of the sad thing you have to say goodbye. I did get to keep one thing, which is one of the animatronic dinosaurs has a prosthetic arm that's made of like leather and iron. It has claws and stuff that we made because it had lost its arm in a previous fight, and I, I kept the arm. Okay, and um, if you're looking back at uh, uh, your two Jurassic World movie, the first one or the last one, um, I think there's also some kind of development because the special effects getting better and better because mm. the first Jurassic Park in 1993 was um, a new milestone of, mm -hmm. of science fiction movies and then looking at uh, Jurassic World, um, uh, Dominion and all the special effects, it's, it's way beyond that. So um, what, what would you say if you're looking at all the things that is possible to bring on screen that they're not really existing? Well, I mean, times have changed, but also we went back and used a lot of... Uh, a lot of the processes that Steven did on the first movie, we used more animatronics in this movie than in the last two Jurassic movies combined. Uh, and I think that's one of the reasons why it feels like our technology has advanced in that we're actually just building things and put, putting them on screen and it just blends into the, to the CG animated dinosaurs in a more seamless way so you stop thinking about it and you just feel like they're all real, hopefully. Okay, and um, what is your favorite scene of that movie? Uh, I have a few. My favorite scene actually doesn't have dinosaurs in it. I, I really love the moment when uh, B.D. Wong's character is is telling uh, uh, Maisie Lockwood who she really was and, and where she really came from. I think it's a really beautiful scene. But uh, for, as far as dinosaurs are concerned, um, I think the scene with Bryce Dallas Howard and the Therizinosaurus where she goes underwater, uh, that's that was my favorite to direct and something that, you know, she and I were both directors and so to be able to do something together was was pretty special. For me, as a viewer, it's the raptor chase when Chris Pratt is on the motorbike, yeah. and the uh, raptors are um, um, uh, hunting them. That's yeah. amazing. It's pretty awesome. Also, the I, background I action, the two T-Rexes, um, uh, one yeah. is um, uh, picking uh, some kind of people the guy and off the scooter. Amazing. <laughs> totally amazing. <laughs> so this is, this is, this is what, what uh, keeps you um, uh, fast in your seatbelts in yeah. the cinema. Yeah, I know it's a reason to see it on the big screen. I think, I think people will not be disappointed. So is this really the end? 
of the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World uh, saga, would you say if this movie turns out very well on the, on the box office, maybe there is another trilogy coming? Or is it just. Well, the I, I know it's the end of this story that we've been telling. Uh, I, I did introduce new characters in this film for a reason. I wanted there to be a possibility that, you know, Mamadou Ashe and uh, uh, Deshaun Lockman, and then of course DeWanda Wise, uh, all amazing new characters. And, and if the audience loves them, if kids love them, then maybe there's a, a path forward. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Uh, have uh, uh, all the best for the coming out of the movie. Thank you so much. And I'm pretty sure it will be a big, big success because it's made we'll with so much love and uh, that's what you see in the cinema. So oh, I'm great. glad you can see that. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Okay. See you there. Take care.